New data suggests that Tesla batteries are going to last almost 25 years, basically forever. Back in April, I shared some data about Tesla battery degradation. There are some users that have been updating this Google Doc file for quite a while now, and so we have some surprising new findings related to this data. The data are collected by Tesla owners draining their battery down to 0%, then charging fully up to 100%. In this way, they get a consistent measure of how much energy the battery can hold. But people ask, the battery in my laptop and my phone are the same as the car, right? They're both lithium ion batteries, yet, after only a couple years, my phone and my laptop really can't even hold a charge. So wouldn't the same thing happen to my Tesla car? Well, many studies on lithium ion battery cells indicate that after about 500 cycles at 100 depth of discharge, battery capacity drops to around 70% with some studies indicating that this drop happens at closer to 800 cycles. Either way, at 500 to 800 cycles, this means that your battery life and thus range will sharply decline somewhere around 100 to 150,000 miles. However, when users drain only part of the battery, as most common users of electric vehicles and Teslas do, the battery life expectancy rises quite a bit. I couldn't find studies on this type of usage, but estimates are somewhere between 1200 and 1500 cycles, which would be closer to 350,000 miles of life. So because empirical studies on EV battery life as frequently used as these are doesn't exist, the data we have from these users is a bit more valuable. It's also probable that there are other contributing factors like temperature and usage patterns to the data we have from these users. You see, when you charge your Tesla, you typically only go up to about 80% and you rarely ever get it down all the way to zero, hopefully not anyways. And this is to reduce strain on the battery. Tesla also may limit your ability to use the superchargers or that is to use the fast charging because it also can damage your battery. But who the hell are they to tell you when you can charge anyways? Well, they're the ones that are ensuring you don't ruin that expensive battery that is in your car. And so they are gonna try to prevent that because they want you to have a great experience. And really, do you need more than 250 miles on a daily commute? If you do, you may wanna look into other options. So this is why you can only go up to 80% unless you are going on a trip. And in fact, that's what it's called trip mode. And you can put it up to 100% and get that added range when you need it. So this could be a big factor in why Tesla batteries appear to last so long. In running my regression analysis on the data, I found that there is a lot of variability, meaning that there's not a really tight curve or trend that we can identify. In fact, there's a lot of different points that bounce around, and that is likely because the testing here isn't happening in a controlled environment. According to the analysis by Martin Steinbuck, professor in systems at control at Eindhoven University of Technology, when he was looking at this data, he found that on average, the batteries have 92% remaining after 240,000 kilometers. If the linear behavior would continue, then the lifetime, meaning still 80% capacity left, can be calculated as follows. 92 minus 80 equals 12% times 45,000 kilometers equals 540,000 kilometers. Another study I saw from Jehu Garcia, another YouTuber who is just all about batteries, found that an early Tesla battery cell that he tested shows about 0.35% degradation per year. So that's without use. So this is how much capacity it loses just sitting on the shelf because people do have this notion that the batteries just go bad. And in his testing, that's what he found. This is a legit test, you can go watch the video. Now the deal about it is that if you do the math on that, after about 285 years is when you'll see the battery be dead and lose almost all of its capacity. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much. So being conservative and saying that the battery will retain more than 80% of its capacity for up to 500,000 kilometers, which is 310,000 miles for us here in the United States, and that the average person in the US anyways drives around 13,500 miles per year, we're looking at about 23 years before you need to replace the Tesla battery. 23 years, like 15 years after your battery warranty runs out. 13 years after cars become fully autonomous. And even four years after my son can legally buy alcohol. And about 10 years after robots take over the world and enslave all of humanity. Okay, uh, that last one may come a bit sooner. We'll see. 
So the point is, by the time your Tesla battery runs out, we'll be in a whole new world. You may not even want to drive or even have a car that you actually own. In fact, Elon recently stated that he thinks in 20 years, we won't even have steering wheels in cars. So rest easy when it comes to worrying about your Tesla battery. There are lots of other things that can go wrong before then. And the data we have here, which is real data from real people, indicates that it's gonna be the least of your worries. If you're into data and Tesla and things like this, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the button down below. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss anything, join our notification squad and click the little bell. So anytime we post a new video, you'll be notified immediately. Also, you can get on our email list at teslanomics.co. Thanks for watching, and remember, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you back here next time.